make a video about Kazakh food because I think a lot of people traveling to Kazakhstan might not know what's in store for them. Now, while there are a lot of traditional Kazakh foods that are like purely from Kazakhstan, there's also a lot of international food because over 130 ethnic groups live in Kazakhstan, such as Russians, Kazakhs, Uzbeks, Ukrainians, people from Armenia, people from South Korea, people from North Korea, Germans. It's actually incredible how many different ethnic groups live very peacefully all in Kazakhstan. So when you go to a city like Almaty, which is the old capital city, you'll find so many international restaurants. So I'm gonna go through some of the main foods that you're gonna encounter when you're in Kazakhstan, and then I'm gonna briefly touch on some of the other international food that you're gonna find as well. Okay, one of the first things you're gonna come across is dumplings. People in Kazakhstan love dumplings. Um, Pelmeni is one name for them, but I think that might be like the Russian or Ukrainian name. Most of them kind of boiled or steamed, but you can also get these really tiny sort of fried palmini dumplings as well. We had them in um, one of the restaurants that we went to and they're really delicious. So people really love dumplings there. The second thing is lagman. This is something I never had before I went to Kazakhstan. It's like this really thick noodle um, with sort of like a beef stir fry. Now it could be mud and it could be beef, it could be a different type of meat, but it's sort of like stir fried, it's spicy, and then the, the meat and the stir fry and vegetables is put on top of the noodles and it's this really delicious hearty dish. I had it in a homestay, had it when I was hiking, and I also had it in a restaurant. So it's really popular in Kazakhstan. The third thing is samsa. It's a little bit like a samosa that you would get in, in India, but it's much bigger and it tastes a little bit different. You can get ones with cheese inside, which I've never had in India. You would never normally get a cheese samosa. So you get a cheese samsa, a meat samsa, or a vegetable samsa. I think meat and cheese were the most common ones. We saw them in restaurants, street stalls, inside of the market, the green bazaar. So samsa definitely seems to be a popular thing. The next thing is chak chak. Uh, chak chak I'd never heard of before I went to Kazakhstan. And they're these kind of rice crispy s snacks, I guess. But when I was staying in the homestay, they actually gave us these snacks with a uh, bowl of tea, like a cup of tea before dinner. So it felt kind of cool having uh, delicious treats, like sugary treats before dinner instead of after dinner. But I guess most people eat them after dinner. There's like plain ones, ones with kind of chocolate flavor. Uh, reminded me of the Rice Krispie treats that you get back home. So those were really delicious. The next thing is plov. I had this outside of the Green Bazaar in Almaty. It's like this really big rice, rice dish. They cook it in this massive pot. Um, there's bits of meat in there. Could be beef or mutton. Um, a little bit oily for sure, um, but really delicious. So this big kind of oily rice dish with, with beef or mutton and some vegetables as well. So really nice lunch dish. The next food in Kazakhstan that you're probably gonna come across is sheshlik, which is sort of like this um, meat on a kebab. So it's sort of grilled on these charcoal hot stones. We saw it on the streets, first of all, when we were driving to Sati village and Kulsai lakes. So these guys had this sort of big oven, there was big pieces of wood and logs inside, and they were kind of smoking the, the sheshlik meat on a grill. Then we also went to this Armenian restaurant while in Almaty and they also had loads of diff different sheshlik. So they had mutton, I think you can get horse meat, um, beef and chicken. Uh, there's a few things that I didn't personally try but I know are very popular in Kazakhstan and that's different types of milk. So you can get camel's milk from a camel and mare's milk which is from a female horse. Um, everything to do with horses is quite popular uh, when it comes to food. They love horse meat in Kazakhstan and when I went to the Green Bazaar, I saw this whole line of horse meat all hanging up. You had the sign of the horse, then you had the sign of the cow and the sign of the, the sheep so you could tell what type of meat you were buying. They say horse meat is sort of more for festivals and special occasions, but you also do see it regularly on the menu. Even in the Korean restaurant we went to, um, in the Kazakh restaurant we went to, we saw a lot of horse meat. And I think some of the more traditional Kazakh dishes, they use horse meat as the base. Uh, we had a lot of local beer, beer and alcohol. So uh, Lime Brew is kind of the local beer that you can try. And there's some also local whiskies and brandies that you might be given in the homestay. And then finally is the types of bread. They love their bread, they make really good bread. So whether it's like something home-baked in the place you're staying, or this big 
circular flat bread that you can buy at the markets. There is no shortage of amazing bread in Kazakhstan. So apart from all these traditional foods, you're also going to find a lot of international food. They say that almost 1% or I think half of 1% of the population in Kazakhstan is Korean people. So there's a big Korean influence and especially with the cuisine, you're going to find a lot of Korean restaurants, Korean barbecue, kimchi, spicy food. So we went there for one meal. We went to an Armenian restaurant for one meal, one meal, and we went to Nevat, which is like a chain restaurant. You have one in um, Bishkek in Kyrgyzstan, in Tashkent in Uzbekistan, and then also in Almaty. So loads of different foods from all over Central Asia and really big mix of cuisine. Really delicious, different types of dumplings, lagman, um, different types of soup and samsa, like the samosa things. You can try loads of different things in one place. I think that's pretty much it. I know there's a lot more traditional Kazakh food that I didn't get to try, but when I return to Kazakhstan next year, I will try loads more of the food. Um, this is guess, just a small taster into what you might eat when you're in Kazakhstan. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do check out my other Kazakhstan travel videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to do a thumbs up below and subscribe if you like. See you next time.